Hey guys, Old School Brian here. Uh, today I got a unboxing I'm going to do for you, a pickup. Um, this is something that came in a mail package that I've been waiting for. Uh, if you've been watching me on Facebook, I actually, you know, did a post on there that I actually thought it was something else. I was a little bit more excited, but I'm still excited anyway, even though this isn't exactly what I was waiting for. Um, it looks like I'm still waiting for the other thing. So this is going to be pretty cool. This is one, this is something that I've wanted for a while. Um, I've never had one. I've never, uh, let me show you what it is. <laughs> let me get it out the box before I go into all the, all the details. Bought this off of a Goodwill website. Um, Paid, paid I think 20 something bucks for it and then shipping. So I think I got a pretty good deal. And for once, Goodwill actually packaged something very well. I've never seen them package something like this. Take this down. Well, I don't know. They might not have packaged it so well. I mean, they got it all bubble wrapped and everything. Um, but there's other stuff, so I hope they didn't just jam everything in here. Almost there, almost there, okay. Alright, so what we have here is my very first Commodore VIC-20 system. Alright, um, I've wanted this system for a while, never had one before, um, I've I've seen a little bit of it and it looks pretty cool, so I will I will be hooking this up and trying it out. Let me open it up here, and we got some some. Oh man, it stinks! The hell is that smell? It smells like old dead people. Um, I got some games here for it, and the this system you can get games a couple different ways. Um, you can hook, ah, it's so dirty too, I, I hope this thing works, it's supposed to work, it's supposed to be tested and working, but I'm going to have to try it out. Um, there's three ways you can get games for this, one's on, like, old floppy disks, I believe, um, the other way is cartridges, like these, and then the third way is on actual cassette tapes, you get a cassette player that hooks up to this, some, like, special one, I think, and, um, and you can use cassettes. I don't know a ton about this system. Uh, it's from the early 70s, I believe. It's made by Commodore. Um, I believe it's it, it's a computer. So I believe this is the first like computer that sold over a million units. I think I might be wrong. Um, this came out before the Commodore 64, which was Commodore's very you know um, impressive. Uh, system, but nonetheless, um, this is what put Commodore on the map, um, and it helped that William Shatner did the commercials back in the day, and back in the day, if William Shatner told you to go buy something, you went and did it, so that kind of helped with their sales pitch. Um, I know nothing about these games, but some of them um, you've probably heard of for other systems, <clears throat> a couple of them, so... Um, first one we have is Super Smash. The second one is Tooth Invaders. One thing they were really known for is giving games some wild names. Um, some just really ridiculous names. I don't see any that are really ridiculous here. None are ridiculous here, but some of them have some crazy names. Um, next one's Pirate's Cove which sounds pretty cool. 
Um, but these aren't going to be like fancy graphics type, you know, not even like anything 8-bit or anything like that. It's um, Maybe I'll do some gameplay and show you. Next one is Mole Attack. We got Gorf, which, uh, you know, retro gamers, uh, I'm sure some of you have heard of Gorf. Uh, number Nabber and Shape Grabber. And then um, I'm pretty happy with this one. And, I, I, you know, to be honest, I didn't even look at the games this was coming with. I saw the system, saw it was boxed, so I just picked it up. So I kind of didn't even really really look at these. So I'm, I'm pretty happy to get this one, and it's Pac-Man. Because um, this is kind of like how it was in the arcade. Uh, I think I remember somebody doing some gameplay or showing it. Uh, the actual system looks like this. And it's just completely beat the shit. And I don't know if it was white or, you know, yellowed. Or if it was supposed to be like this. I got the one with Commodore's little rainbow um, logo. Which I'm happy about because they also had these these came out. And some of them didn't have that. So I'm happy to have that. And I think um, I got like the grayish buttons. And I believe these buttons come in like two other colors. So, um... You know, I really got to take the magic eraser this thing, clean it up, and uh, see what we what we have. All right, so I figured this way I can give you a definitely a better look at it than I was doing it was doing was showing you. Um, so there's the logo I was talking about with the rainbow. Um, that's the back where your cartridge games go, uh, which I've heard are sometimes a pain to um, to put in there, but go in there like so and yeah it is a pain but I think once you get them in there um, you're good to go you got your other plugs here on this side you have your on and off switch you can see what I'm talking about how dirty this is I'm really I, I think it'll clean up good though so you got your on and off switch and then you have your controller plug right here um, and you got a power light right there and then, uh, basically, well, what mine came with was these controllers, okay? And then they have the plugs like that, something, you know, that you would see on, uh, something that you would see on a Sega Genesis controller. So I believe you can use the Genesis controllers. I also believe you can use your different types of Atari controllers and stuff. I have all different kinds like this, but they all have that type, and I think you can use all of them. Um, here's your power supply, which is just a massive brick. Um, I don't know if you could swap this out for any other power supplies for other systems. Um, I'm going to have to look at the pin a little bit better, but I don't think that you can. Um, it's a pin like that. I think I remember for some reason reading or watching a video that says that you have to use this particular one. I'm sure they have uh, some sort of generic version or aftermarket version that they made of it, but I don't know if you could swap it with other systems. Um, and then it came with a little plug like this. And that's basically it. So now I'm going to show you the the, um, the box, because I really like the way the box looks. Mine's a little bit beat up, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so here's the outside of the box. It's nothing crazy, but I do like the retro style it has to it. You have the the kids, and looks like a dad um, playing a game. And then you got dad doing uh, some work on here. Um, and that was, like I said before, a big marketing scheme to this was... You know, the kids could play games, the parents could do, you know, work on it, taxes, um, stuff like that on it. And um, that's part of the reason why it made this a successful system. This system was released in a lot of different countries. Um, VIC-20 here, I forget what it was called overseas. Um, somewhere, maybe Germany, I think it was VC-20. Um, uh, just doing it all off memory though. I'm not. I don't really 
No, I know, I believe it was called something totally different in like, uh, the, you know, the, over in the UK, Europe and stuff like that. Um, so that's that side of the box. And then you have your sides, which is just the VIC-20 and, you know, shows a picture of it and stuff. Um, the back of it, uh, you have all different types of games. Um, you got the VIC-20 at the top, uh, the friendly computer, and then you have, um, bunch of games, Gorf, which is one of the ones I got, um, Raid on Fort Knox, Midnight Drive, uh, Blackjack, Mega Race, Poker, Mole Attack, Space Math Tutor, um, there's a bunch of educational type games for this, um, oh, right here you see financial planning, so, you know, the parents would use that, um, personal improvement stuff. So, the box is pretty cool. Mine's not in the best shape. Uh, I usually like to get them in better shape than this. This one definitely has some, some water damage on it and stuff. But that tends to happen when you're buying these older systems and people have them stored in the garages or the crawl spaces, the attics, stuff like that. But nonetheless, pretty cool. Um, now I just got to find out about the game. See if I can get some box games for this. Because I've never even looked into this system. I don't even know how many games were released for it. Um... But I am interested in finding out. So let's see if I can get this set up. I know I'm missing a wire to plug it in the TV. I may have an extra one here. And see if I can get some uh, some uh, playtime on it. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have one of these, let me know a good game to play. Let me know what you like about it. Um, and that's it. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.